Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ved and I'm here to take you through this series of episodes where I'll be going over every detail of the PA28 Aero 3. We will be starting right from its origin, introduction and covering various systems on board and eventually we'll be flying this aircraft from point A to point B. The add-on that I have chosen to use for this series is Just Flight's PA28 Aero 3. I will be leaving a link to this add-on in the description box below. Just Flight was also kind enough to offer me a discount on this product and I truly believe this is one of the most detailed or study level GA aircraft we have for the simulator. I'll be honest, I have not done this before on YouTube. My videos have mostly been about product trailers and random flying without me talking in the background. So feedback on anything and everything is most welcome down in the comment section below. I will be recording these videos through my headphone microphones, so I apologize if the quality is not too good, but I will definitely make sure that it's clear and good enough for this series. This will be a great opportunity for me to learn about this bird and meanwhile share that experience with you guys as well. So I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, we are going to be breaking down everything into bits and pieces. So yeah, just sit back, relax and enjoy this series. Okay, so this is going to be broken down into several episodes covering the origin and introduction in episode 1 and then all the systems, for example, fuel, lighting, vacuum and many more in the upcoming episodes. In the end, we will learn to actually fly this aircraft and perform several short flights to master on VATSIM, which is going to be a lot of fun. Until then, let's get started with episode 1 and know a little bit more about this plane. Let's first talk about the origin of this bird while I have some nice looking clips of the Just Flights Aero 3 running in the background. By the way, we are parked at Fairways Airport by Orbex, which is a freeware for MSFS. So many of you would know that this plane belongs to the several versions of the PA-28 planes that were built by a company called Piper Aircraft. Now Piper's flagship single engine prop option at some point used to be the PA-24 Comanche of which a lot of you would have heard of. Anyways, Comanche was a heavier, more expensive and faster frame, so obviously they needed something that is cheaper, easier to manufacture, lighter and more suitable for training purposes. Basically, they needed something to compete with the Cessna 172, which was pretty much a go-to aircraft for flight training in those years. This is where the PA-28 series came into picture starting off with the Cherokees. Now these Cherokees kept doing pretty well in the market and then came in several versions of PA-28 namely the Arrow, Warrior, Archer and the Pilot. 1960 is when PA-28 got its type rating from FAA and there were a lot of variants released between the first Cherokee and the Arrow 3. Specifically the Arrow 3 model that we are talking about here was certified in 1976 along with the Turbo variant. I did not see the Piper Aero listed on the company website and I also read somewhere that it has been discontinued due to the regulations requiring technically advanced aircrafts, also known as TAA, to be used for training. Which means now, the Archer variant is being promoted as the flagship trainer by Piper. And it is a lot simpler than the Aero variant with the constant pitch prop and the non-retractable landing gears. Nevertheless, we can still enjoy this piece of art in our simulators and learn from it. Now that we have covered some history, let's dive into the payload capacity and size of our aircraft. The empty weight including airframe, engine, other equipment, unusable fuel, full engine oil and the hydraulic fluid is about 1600 pounds. And the maximum weight that you can take off with is about 2750 pounds. So you can carry about 1150 pounds including fuel, luggage and the passenger weight. The range on this is about 700 nautical miles and a fuel capacity of 77 gallons. We will be covering more about fuel tank locations, fuel delivery etc in the fuel systems episode which is the next one. It has a wingspan of 35.4 feet and it is 22.8 feet in length. The wing uses a NACA 652415 airfoil which basically means the wing cross section looks something like this. The maximum altitude on this bird is 15,000 feet with a cruise speed of about 135 knots. Okay, 
Now on to the powerhouse of this bird. This is powered by Lycoming IO360 which is a four cylinder direct drive horizontally opposed fuel injected engine. It is rated at 200 horsepower at 2700 rpm. Interestingly, the Cessna 172R and S use the same engine as well. Now horizontally opposed engines have high power to weight ratio. The reciprocating forces tend to cancel out and also having a lightweight crankcase and streamlined packaging capability leads to very low aerodynamic drag which makes it a perfect choice for a nose mounted engine plane like the Aero. I believe these type of engines are available up to 350 to 400 horsepower. Now direct drive in the engine description basically means that we do not have a gear train that connects the crankshaft to the prop. The prop is directly connected to crank and rotates at the same speed as the crank does. This aircraft has a constant speed prop so it has a governor that maintains the rotational speed by changing the pitch of the blades. This allows for a fuel efficient engine operation compared to say a constant pitch prop like the one that C172 has where the thrust would be dependent on the speed of the prop. You can basically operate at an optimal fuel efficiency point on the speed load map without sacrificing thrust on a variable pitch or a constant speed prop. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a more detailed video about the constant speed versus constant pitch props. A very interesting topic for sure. Alright, that is where our first episode ends. I hope it was fun learning about the history and a bit more about the aircraft before we dive deeper into the systems and flying lessons. I will be back with the second episode of the series soon where we will be focusing on the fuel systems. If you're still awake and you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any further videos. Thanks a lot again for watching and see you on the next one.